show you a 1.6 way to hook up an aftermarket oil pressure gauge. There's many ways to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. The engine's upside down, so use your imagination. Here is a stock sending unit grounded down. I grounded the uh, corners down because with this installed, you cannot get even a nipple to fit in here because it's so close. So if you got an old one that you're not using or find one cheap, uh, this is what I'm using to plug this up. I'm getting rid of that 28 British thread because everything is uh, non-British thread. <laughs> Here's my other setup. I got a T, eighth inch, uh, eighth inch, a uh, 27 thread to a bushing that goes to uh, I don't know what it is, half inch or whatever. Cuff length, one and a half inch nipple. Now, uh, the threads are actually a lot thicker than this. What I used is a half inch 20 thread this is 20 I don't know if exactly it is but it's 20 thread fits exactly in there it doesn't cross thread or nothing this is what I used on the bushing this bushing actually came in a Harbor Freight all Harbor Freight kits had this bushing on everything they have uh, from compression testers to fuel injection this this bushing is in there it's a uh, 8 by 27 thread to whatever thread that is anyway this it feels like it's going to cross thread. It won't. It's thinning the threads out already. So I did it on all the uh, male ends except this one. This one's fine. And what this is, since I grounded that, it's going to allow room for this to fit. Okay. It screws right in. Just perfect. Of course it sticks out just a little bit far but you can always do whatever shorten it whatever that is a kind of a big cup link there there you go now you got two eighth uh, eighth by 27 thread then what if you want to do if you want to keep the stock unit you can 28 British will thread right into 27 no problems at all. Sorry about this. I'm having to grow some joints here. Okay. I kind of boogered the threads on this, so it might not work. Okay, it goes right in. No problems. It tightens up. It's going to be just a little wobbly, but once you put Teflon on it, it I mean is not coming out then you can hook up your aftermarket uh, aftermarket sending unit or hose I mean mechanical or electrical which way you're doing but this is the bushing that comes in pretty much every Harbor Freight um, thing and as you can see how thick the threads are once you put that die on there, it'll actually it'll it'll thin it right out. And it works every time. And then uh, you know if if you find something smaller to fit, if you actually find an actual 28 British plug, you can plug that up. You can get rid of you can get rid of all that and screw plug that up, and then just use a bushing with this and bam you're good to go uh, if you don't want to use the stock sending unit don't even need a T you just have that right there so that's what I'm gonna do on mine yeah hopefully it'll work just fine I got about three three hundred more miles before my oil change on my 16 valve this is an 8 valve and 16 valve same thing they got the small hole in the big hole uh, the 1.3 as you can see has two holes I tried to get that out it's pretty much in there it started uh, deforming that plug so I stopped so uh, I don't couldn't tell you what threads those are but this is a uh, 8 valve and the 16 valve is the exact same so that's my setup